What's going on, everybody? C4, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here for episode 30 of our Madden 23 Carolina Panthers franchise mode. Today is going to be a doubleheader as we have our week 15 game against the Jets, which is honestly a must win if we want any realistic shot at competing for a playoff spot because that week 16 game is going to be our most difficult remaining game on the schedule against the 9-4 division leading thorn in our side, pain in the ass, Tampa Bay Buccaneers team. So I will just say right now, people might be saying, C4, what's going on with Pink Slips? Pink Slips, new episode will be dropping tomorrow, but with like the hardest rebuild series, which I mean, full shout out to you guys for enjoying that so far. The feedback's been great. Uh, things like Pink Slips just happen when I want to record, and I actually feel like we're playing a little bit of Pink Slips after I hop off the sticks here in Carolina. So that'll be for you guys tomorrow before all the games start on Sunday. But here, we have a doubleheader for the Panthers, and we're coming off a loss that you can't, can't really have happen, man. The Saints, look at the bottom. NFC South, 3-10. You just can't have it, man. It, it was a game where defensively we weren't good enough. Offensively, Nick Foles was hit or miss for the first time in his three starts with us. So I felt like I was inspired. We put the Keith Taylor threads back on, get a little bit of that magic run through our veins, and see if we could go 2-0. Or at minimum, at least beat the Jets here today. I think it's going to take nine. I think nine is the magic number of wins. And, you know, we get the Jets, we get the Bucks, and then we'll have an episode probably on Monday or Tuesday, which will clear out the rest of the regular season against the Lions and the Falcons. I think we need two wins. Two wins minimum to have a shot at, uh, at making the playoffs. Like, as it stands right now, we're in the top five, but there is a log jam, and really all the way down to the Commanders, things can change, especially here in today's episode. We're going for two games, but when you take a look at the big playoff picture, we are... In the playoffs as the seven seed, last spot in the NFC. And hopefully at least we end the episode in that same position. So we have the Jets up here first. And take a look at what the Jets teams can bring to us. What do they got? What are they working with? Well, they got Brees Hall, superstar running back. Guy's an absolute stud out of Iowa State. You know, they're not really good at running or throwing the football. But I would say push comes to shove. I'm definitely more worried about Brees Hall taking this game over than Zach Wilson. On the defensive side of the ball, they're actually very bad at stopping short throws, which is absolutely what we do. And we have a quarterback of Nick Foles' skill set at this point in time in his career. And if you don't remember, at the end of the last episode, we actually, like, you almost, you need to do it to keep the realism, I suppose, as Derek Brown, our starting D-tackle, picks up an injury. Phenomenal. And on the offensive side of the ball... We got Jared Cook's going to be down. Veteran tight end. I mean, he's had actually established a decent chemistry with Nick Foles. But we engage with, like, the scenarios that pop up. And what we got for engaging with that scenario was a massive hit to Nick Foles. He is going into this stretch as a, with the decrease, 58 overall quarterback. Um, yeah. That's going to be tough. That's going to... 58 overall. That'd be a personal best if we can get a victory today with a 58 overall quarterback. I didn't want to double back around to the contract extensions. Uh, I think the Viscus Chanel has made enough plays, even though we might be losing him as far as the dev trait would be concerned after this year because it's been a lot of DJ Moore as our primary receiver. Uh, I do want to keep him around. So I figure we'll up the offer here just a little bit on that three year. Because there's a chance, especially with Christian McCaffrey already submitting the paperwork, that he wants to get traded this offseason, or at least it came from his agent. And I, again, I want to continue to keep gathering your guys' feedback on how that's going to break out. Uh, you know, if we miss the playoffs, we could be borderline fire sale mode this offseason, hitting that little bit of a reset and, and trying to refigure, you know, what pieces we need to do, what we need to move around to get this team where we want them to be. And I can tell you right now, someone like LaVisca Chanel, who's 24 on that superstar dev, those aren't the guys you get rid of. Those aren't the guys you just let walk away for absolutely nothing. So happy that we can extend LaVisca Chanel ahead of this Jets matchup. Hopefully that inspires him to make a lot of plays because we're going to need a lot of help with Nick Foles going to this matchup as a 58 overall. We need the Keith Taylor threads. We need a Keith Taylor turnover. Turner over Taylor is what they call him. Let's get into this matchup. 
make it in Wakanda Wear a panther on my chest, badge your honor Hitting 150 on the dash Burns rubber when you pass In a swim move, get us the Bahamas How they gon' talk like a MC See me, I see him, see him Hit a side step and I'm a goner One, two, three quarters down in the C4 sound Cause the chip coming back to Carolina And they be like, calling it a fluke When we went to 50, we back now Mine. Wish you would. Wish you would. Wish you would. Man, what's he at? CJ Henderson gonna be up around six picks, five, six, seven picks. I love that. Zach Wilson thinks he can test the Bermuda Triangle secondary. He's like, oh man, they guys can't handle Jeff. Look at that. Get out of here. Height, weight, speed in spades. CJ Henderson, what a season. Tell you right now, no matter what fire sale, I am not losing any of my guys on defense. Guys that are deemed not good enough, maybe, you know, as much as it pains me to say, as a Gator fan, Josh Gunner Johnson, he could be gone. But Roquan, Brian Burns, Jackson, Horn, Henderson, Chin, they're untouchable. They're staying here. They bought in. They know how good of a defense. Offensively, fuck. Anyone you want, up for grabs. So let's be aggressive here. Get a nice slant off the rip. 58 overall quarterback, though. Need to remind everybody. It's kind of what we're working with. So, very limited for play call. We're going to take as safe of an approach as we possibly can. Actually, I actually, Loki, I didn't know DJ Moore was over 1,000 yards already. 30 inches, let's go short. And you know what? I actually, I'll throw Ikea Quano on the list of guys that are untouchable. Good run. Here we go. Get to the second level. Actually, I respect DJ Moore getting in there, got knocked on his ass, but at least he tried to block. I appreciate that on my wide receivers. You know, watch let them watch a lot of Heinz Ward tape. That was a wide receiver I love blocking. There we go, DJ Moore at the sticks. Go CMC gets close. Here's where now, though, like where before it's like, man, let's keep CMC in here. Get it. I, I think now when there's a chance to get a like easy Chuba Hubbard scores. Because there is a potentially a lot of pressure for him next season trying to be our guy. Let's get him let's get him as comfortable in this offense as we possibly can. You can do so by getting him a lot of touchdowns. He's gonna feast here in the red zone to close up this year. Because uh, he's actually still here under contract next season and wants to be a part of the project. So we can't just not utilize Christian McCaffrey. He's our best player. But you know, in in the in the reward section, you know, let let Christian McCaffrey do all the hard work. Get all the wear and tear, and we'll let Chuba Hubbard get all the glory. You know why? You know why we do that to Christian McCaffrey? Do you know why? Let me know in the comment section. Do you know why? I'll tell you. Because fuck him! That's why. Okay. You know what? Right there. That, you know what that establishes? He gets 20 yards. He gets happy feet. He thinks he can scramble, and he'll set ourselves up for a big fumble upcoming at some point in this game. Oh, okay. Wouldn't wouldn't test J.C. Horn a lot like that, but when you do got Garrett Wilson, unlike in real life where Zach Wilson just ignores that Garrett Wilson's on their team, you can get him the ball. He's a damn good player. Come on. We got a dual threat over there in New York. She's so good. I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. I like Robbie Anderson. I like some of the other trades. Sam Darnold that we've kind of shipped away. I'm going to miss him. Oh, quick throw. LaVisca Chanel like a running back with the ball in his hands. Lose the chains in our 58 overall. Nick Foles 4-4. Start this game. Second at 11. Oh. Again, not, uh, not, you know, not having the most difficult throws. I think I've earned that with a 58 overall quarterback here today. Take what's there. She gets blocked up pretty well, and Chuba Hubbard is across the line. Second touchdown of the game. Panthers regain the lead. Damn, man, throwing on the run. Let's go, Keith. Save the touchdown. That's what he does, man. Keith does save touchdowns. Keith Taylor in coverage. 
Let's go! Brian Burns, who else? He's really the only guy that can get sacked, but we will take it as we hold the Jets to a field goal in excellent goal line stand for the Panthers. Christian McCaffrey picking up the first down. Great block by Ian Thomas. Another run. Another big run. CMC up to 70 yards here. Ooh. Could be, could be a shot here to Visca Chanel. Could be. God damn it. Come on, Nick. Put a nozzle on it, bud. Keep her in bounds. Give her guy a chance. Look at that patience. Hey, full kudos to the offensive line there. Gave us enough time. Is that what it's like if you play with a good offense? I can look good if I get, you know, not constantly under pressure. That was easy. Look at that one misses. Like, we had five seconds to stand there. Wait, no way. No. Whatever just happened there, there's... There's no way. Challenge? What just happened? Okay, already, already right here. Watch this, watch this. Already, already sus, okay? Already sus. Yeah, he's throwing it down on the ground. So I hit... Hit the uh, hit back of Mosley. He turned around. Let's get the blur off here for some reason. I don't... Hit the knee, the knee of Moten. This is like one of those ones. Give me a mulligan here. Give me like a quick three and out. Don't have us be punished by. I think you can put that on the list. Of the worst interceptions that have happened in Madden 23. And luckily, there is a drop. And we don't get any points scored off of the worst interception I might have ever seen. Like, even the fact that, like, like the guy that got the pick. He wasn't even looking at the play. He got hit in the ass. And you're telling me he got hit in the ass. And it was enough for him to turn around slowly. And then catch the interception. And the throw! How do you go from throwing it, like, kind of straight? And then the ball goes, whoop! Like, opposite direction. Man, there are some plays where it's like my offensive line hates Chris McCaffrey. Selling out, not blocking for him right there. Prime example. Go, go get that first touch. Get the first down. All right, second to 10. On the 42. Fringe? I mean, it might even be in field range depending on the wind. But we'll go, we'll go an easy slants throw here if we can. Probably Gooby missed that. That looked like that could have been picked. Third and 10. Did we get Quez involved? Just lead him a little bit. Makes the grab. Let's go. Drive continues. Another guy looking to get paid. Quez. Set to be a free agent. Probably have enough to get him if he starts balling out and close this year out. Oh, tremble. I think that was... Hey, now you see John Franklin Myers dropping back into coverage. We'll throw it that way. Again, not trying to not trying to win any style points. Not trying to get any plays of the week. 58 overall quarterback. Let's go with tried, tested, and true plays. Can we fit that in? Of course not. We can't fit that in that window. Whitehead with the pick. First interception was bullshit. That there was just... Decision, throw, talent, everything kind of piled into one. Like if he had, I don't even know what his throw power is. 82, 81 throw power. Like if he had 91, 92 throw power. That ball probably gets there. Good catch. Great catch. CMC got the X factor. So on third and two to move the chains. We're going to give him the rock. Gets blocked up. He breaks a tackle. Falls forward. Gain of nine. Oh, here's a big one. Can Chuba run the screen pass? Chuba's not Christian McCaffrey. But, I mean, he's not a slouch. Doesn't have bricks for hands. Oh, 
Not the best throw, but a good completion. And Kyle Austin, probably their best pass rusher, not named Quinton Williams, is down. All right, let's bring out you. I'm done throwing picks in the red zone. This is a game we've been dominating. We need to be leading by more than four. So I would get blocked up in the hat trick for Chuba Hubbard. Third and one. Yeah, try to run it. Boom! Get out of here. Let's go. Roquan Smith. I don't know what to do. If I was him, I'd probably go for it, but they could attempt the field goal, which they are. They convert it. Jake Elliott, 52 yards. Boom. Bring the blitz. Safety net. At the sticks and a whole lot more. Tommy Tremble. And we are in a Jets territory just like that. Oh, DJ Moore. He's hungry, man. Gets that 1,000 yards. Confidence at an all-time high. Throw it his way. He, he comes down with it. Come on, man. 68. Tuttle. Third and four. Pretty much our offense. Quick throws. And we go to the best blocking fullback in the NFL. Ian Thomas moves the chains. Fresh set of downs on the three. Chuba Hubbard territory. Try again here. We get it blocked up. Nice. Oh, what? Sauce Gardner with a ridiculous tackle. I'm almost, I'm almost pissed off. Chuba Hubbard didn't punch that one in still. That's a corner. Oh, my God. Fourth and goal on the three. No. Winning's most important right now. We'll kick it. Come on, man. What are we doing here? Lamar Jackson. Hey, good throw. It feels like J.C. Horn a little less aggressive these last couple of weeks. Like right there. It feels like he, you know, early season, he would have ran that route better than the wide receiver would have. Now a little more passive. Second and goal and Michael Carter. That's a great one-two punch there. Brees Hall, Michael Carter. I mean, in real life, you throw in James Robinson as well. Jets won't go away. Good touchdown, good drive. They needed that. Yep. Wasn't pretty, but Keith Taylor gets the PBU. Very important play. I guess it was a third and five. Don't really want to stall it on this drive. I'm going to Christian McCaffrey at the backfield here. We got him. Man, oh, fucking win. What is that? What flag is that? Unnecessary holding. Holding after Christian McCaffrey got the first down, got the catch. Had nothing to do with the throw. Come on, Icky. Let's go right back to it, though, man. They didn't even look remotely close to stopping that. We got third and seven. Quick three and out would be phenomenal for this team. Let's go, Brian Burns. Let's go best against best. They go for the run. Surprisingly, I mean, what are they? Four down territory? They're just going to punt that and waste the drive. Punt. What a shocking play call. Oh, this guy. Oh, shrugs off the tack. Oh, oh, gets popped. Doesn't matter. Holds on to the football close to midfield. You know, throw best fullback in the NFL. First down. Third and six. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. A lot of pressure there. Hey, we'll just... We'll take the points. Make the Jets have to win this. Kick is perfect. Through the uprights. 27 on the board for the Panthers. Now, they do get all their timeouts, but I'm going to hope this is a situation, as you can see on the outside, J.C. Horn has his X-Factor. Wilson has to force a throw. And, uh... Oh, someone... On this defense, steps up. There's a second sack of the game. Brian Burns, his X Factor's enabled. Good night. Mine. There you go. It's over. It's over. You knew he was going to force a throw. And it's CJ Henderson trying to take it all the way back. Second pick. I got to see how, where his picks are at. He might have just passed Horn. He might be leading the team in picks right now. And it makes sense. Teams are going to obviously avoid throwing it to J.C. Horn. It doesn't matter which way. you got to throw it in the middle, Dante Jackson will pick it off. You want to throw it on the other side, C.J. Henderson will pick it off. All right, let's try to get Chuba Hubbard that fourth rushing touchdown of the day. Won't be easy. 
But also, what? how is that not a touchdown? He rolled it like eight feet in the end zone. These refs today, man, have been absolutely bullshit. Guts back up. Let's go. Fourth rushing touchdown for Chupa. Might be enough to trigger a dev trade snare or some shit like that next week. Mine. Here we go. It was only a matter of time till JC Horn got back on the interception market. You know? Pick six. That's the way to do it. Seal the game. Pick six. JC Horn, the best in the business. Mine. Look at that style on Chuba. 14 rushes, 16 yards, 4... Like, that's a style on you haven't seen since Lendale White was in the league. But 58 overall quarterback Nick Foles did his job, man. Wasn't pretty. 319 yards passing. Had some pretty bad picks, but he didn't have four picks. And that's exactly what Zach Wilson did. 107 yards CMC. Properly vultured by Chuba Hubbard. I mean, that's, that's going to be the standard we're going to have going forward. He's not getting any touchdowns. He's not, you know... I don't want him to regress, but, you know, if Chris McCaffrey uh, lost the dev trade, that wouldn't be the worst thing that could happen. Uh, DJ Moore, eight catches, 108 yards, got his. Tommy Tremble had a decent game here as well. Visca Schultz, 52 yards after getting his contract. We had two sacks, two TFLs for Brian Burns, three picks, the hat trick for CJ Henderson, who probably has a lock on NFC Defensive Player of the Week. A pick six from JC Horn, and we said this had to be a win. We said, like, look at the schedule, this was going to be a win a must win we go in we do the job good week for upgrades as well post game brian burns jc horn chuba hubbard so we're gonna spend the point right here to speed rush brian burns i no idea i was i mean i guess it's just a team-wide confidence hit because brian burns is playing like an absolute madman he should not be you know feeling bad on himself jc horn gets a two point overall boost awareness change of direction one man two play rec two press for jc horn Almost got that 90 overall. And then Chuba Hubbard with his four touchdowns. Trying to prove that he can be our lead back going forward for this team. Don't pencil in needing a running back as a top priority for free agency. As a top priority for the draft to replace Christian McCaffrey. Maybe his replacement's already in the building. All right, going into week 16. Player of the week. Who could this be? It is CJ Henderson with his three interceptions, which I'm going to go look at the stats here. I don't know what he's at sitting total so far this year. Might as well get a very quick update of all of our stats. Nick Foles as our starting quarterback. Eight touchdowns, five picks. The only guy with more touchdowns than interceptions. CFC, 1,300 yards, seven touchdowns. We got, you know, Chuba's going to get a lot more volume to close out the year. So hopefully his stats kind of round out. It'd be cool to get him 10 touchdowns. On the receiving front, 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns for DJ Moore. CMC is likely going to go over 1,000 yards receiving as... Man, I don't want to lose him. 453 Visca, 400 for Tommy Tremble. Definitely, you know, Chris McCaffrey's not only our leading rusher, he's like one of our most consistent receivers. Like, we're going to have to get better at two spots by losing him. Defensively, Roquan, insane, 137 tackles. We got uh, 16 sacks, 18 TFLs for Brian Burns. Ridiculous season. But look at the picks. What do we got? We got 11. CJ Henderson's at 11. N a nine for JC Horn, two, only two for Jackson. What did he have last year? I think I think he had... He went up depth straight, right? He had six picks last year. A little bit of regression there at him. But 11 interceptions. We knew J.C. Horan, baller. But 11 for C.J. Henderson is... What did he have last year? Four or five? Five. So he has 16 picks in the last two years. Best secondary in the NFL, man. Best... And you already know what it is with Jason. Where's that stack for the league? He's got to be first. We got to have first and second. My gut says we have first and second. He's not even making it. Yeah, J.C. Horn with nine is second. First would be Henderson with 11. Ridiculous. We'll say ahead of this doubleheader that I'm I'm not the biggest fan of the doubleheaders right now, knowing that the next title update, which will hopefully be a week, ideally like a week into November, which is a week away, will fix the draft glitch. It's on the top of the board, like the actual draft glitch fix. But I also I also wanted to do doubleheader here, so we will do a double. I, I will backtrack a little bit. I just thought about. It. I guess I'm gonna tag me in it. Uh, maybe we won't do a doubleheader the next episode. We can maybe stretch out week 17, week 18 potential playoffs just until that next Madden title update, just to make sure 100 
that we won't crash and burn. I have to try to recreate this whole fucking franchise again, which would absolutely suck. But uh, anyways, let's focus on Tampa Bay. We got the job done against the Jets like we had to. And in the playoff picture, we went from the 7th seed up to the 6th seed. So we're going in the right direction. But a loss here against Tampa could set us back pretty far. So that is hopefully not on the cards. But the Bucs, they're, they're, they're a tough team. They got this guy, Sam Barnes, brand new successor to Brady. Um, he was a dual threat last time. He made a couple plays with his legs. So we're going to take away the short pass defensively. Tough defense. But as you can see, they struggle with the short pass. And that is where Nick Foles really excels with his game. So let's see if we can get through this one healthy. No big misses like last week. Missing Derek Brown. I feel like Derek Brown misses a lot of time for this team. All things considered, he does get banged up in practice. And we're, we're on like how easy reps to try to limit the amount of injuries that we suffer. And still, it's the same kind of guys that get hurt all the time. But defense is healthy. Offense is healthy. And let's see if we can make it a clean sweep. 2-0 in this doubleheader and maybe get a couple more interceptions along the way. Just out of curiosity, you know, sitting at 11 with three games left. Okay, we got, we might be able to make some history here for C.J. Henderson. God, I hate playing the Bucs, man. Just one of the least fun teams to take on. Another good block here against one of the toughest run defenses you'll usually see. 34 yards for CMC on three carries. Just gets read out fairly well. So we'll go easy throw tremble, make it third and manageable. Got a little bit of a slant option here to the Vizca Chanel top of the screen. Got to watch these damn linebackers. Levante David, very good at kind of sniffing out those plays. We throw up between him and Devin White. Move the chains. Right throw, Nick Foles. Man, same game plan that we had against... Uh, like, what was that? What? In what? He's a 58 overall quarterback. Like, as gross of an over... Like, just easy, 15, wide open. Not only is 15 wide open. You you actually... He throws that like he makes that throw 95% of the time. That's a touchdown. That was as open and he just... Sails it. What's that going to be? Don't give me roughing. Don't give me roughing the pad. Fuck you. Now you're supposed to get home cooking. When you're the home team. Feel like the refs give us terrible calls. Worst calls when we're the home team. Oh, man. Luke Keekley on the sideline getting ready to lay a hit in. He saw red for a second there. Second and ten. There we go, man. A couple bad throws from the uh, rookie quarterback. Sets up a third and ten. Roquan in the middle. Oh, what are we doing? Lucky. Very, very lucky that I was out of bounds, man. That's JC Horn, too. I expect better. Wilkinson subbing in. Yeah, first thing after your tackle goes down, let's go for a fucking long ass Candace Develle throw. But maybe that's what they thought. They're going to run it. Catch him by surprise. Nice throw to DJ Moore. And it's just cramps, Ricky, a.k.a. he needs to take a shit. All right, that's fine. He'll be back. Oh, that's a great throw. The chemistry between DJ Moore and Nick Foles has been awesome. On the same wavelength. All right, last time we had a wide open guy and threw a pick. Let's do a little bit better here. Third and seven on the 11. And we didn't even have time. Shaq Barrett gets home. Let's try to tie this one up. And we are good. Tied up at three. Oh, I thought that was number 12. Come on, man. Number 12. It's, it's there. You keep throwing that one out, that lame deck throw on Henderson. He'll get 12. There we go. Roquan eats that one out. Eats that box out. Phrasing. Third and four. I honestly feel like I'm getting more interceptions when I'm just Brian Burns. It's like getting the pass, just getting the pass rush there. It's the scramble. Watch the scramble. 
Oh, he was short. Fourth and inches. Bucks take the three. Wow. That deflection. That's an interception deflection if I've ever seen one. Third and 11. We got Terrace Marshall on the field. Looks like it's been a minute since he's been on. Let's go to him. And he gets... That's, he got absolutely popped. It's a tough one to bring in, even though you'd love to see him make it. There we go. Got sack. Took way too long. Coverage sack. Guys held up on the back end. Derek Brown back. Healthy. Feeling good. Third and three. What do they got? They got to run it? They are. Fuck me, man. Just got bulldozed. Second level. Could be interesting, though. Tristan Wirfs going to be... I don't know what the injury is, but I'll tell you right now, we're going to be Brian Burns and work over his backup. All right. Third and five. Get the pressure. We have one move left in the tank for Brian Burns. He actually he wins it. That's what we need it. Hold to another field goal. The touchdown drought continues for the Bucks. Fuck, did I throw that? Fuck! What was that? That's like a uh, match fixing type fucking. What are we doing here? Holy wide nine. Brian Burns lining up at corner. It actually almost works out. Brian, 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 I mean, you know. Who the fuck got the half sack on? That should be a full for Brian. Whatever, man. Long as Worf's out, we're eating. Worst pick of all time only gets punished with, you know, three points. Need to bounce back. Ninety-seven speed. Ninety-seven speed. Quez Watkins might have just given us a lot of consideration for a contract extension. We don't have anybody can run away on the defense like that. What a tutty. Needed that after that garbage bullshit interception. Let's see the next chance. How, how much he goes? Thirty miles an hour. Third and two. I just want to honestly just keep the drive going here. Fuck, that could have been a pick. Punt. I mean, if this, if we don't like this look, we could always just, we could always just call a timeout, but I, I kind of don't hate it. I kind of don't hate it at all. Quiz! Let's go! Drive continues. I mean, I, give me easy throws. I'll take them. Now we don't have any timeouts. But we got a pro. We got a pro's pro back there in Nick Foles, man. He can manage 19 seconds. Tell you right now, Christian McCaffrey's looking pretty good at the back. Even though we want to exile him from the end zone, I hate the Bucks more than I hate Christian McCaffrey. No, 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 no. Come on, 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 come on. Snap it! Fuck! Fuck! Come on, man. Fuck me! Damn it. Second half, Tristan Wirfs is back. Which is not great. Here we go, Keith. Take him out. Take him out the knees. That's not holding. Got a little grabby on Winslow. Just lost in coverage. Lost in the sauce. I don't think a guy with 11 picks get that lost. Even against Mike Evans. Late. That was late. I mean, need to go look at how that pick actually happened to see how cheesy it was, but that was late. That was late there. They're going to go. We got Keith Taylor watching the whole end zone. He literally got everybody. We're going to go on this side that has Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. Dare you. I dare you, baby. Let's go. Worse in or not, Brian Burns. Especially you got Keith Taylor patrol in the end zone like that. He'll get home. 
We all of them to their ninth field goal of the day. All right, gives us a manageable fourth and three. Come on, Quez. Come on, Quez. Come on, DJ Moore. We actually got Quez. We got Quez. Holds on to big hit. Fuck sakes, man. What the fuck? Get me out of this. Get me out of this shit, man. Get me out. Tab it out. Tab it out, man. Lost. There's your fucking analysis. We lost. Yeah, you know, a little bit of a bipolar team. As we see TJ Hawkinson with uh, 15 TFLs and 7 sacks crushing it on the defensive side. Just, you know, it's just the fucking Bucks, man. Worst, least fun team to play every time. Um... You know, big picture, what does that loss really bring to our squad? Well, it definitely looks like the AFC is way better than the NFC. But we were up to the six, and we're, I mean, we held on. We didn't lose anything as it relates to draft position, but it's just so fucking frustrating, man. Like, you have one game where you're unstoppable, and you have another game where, like, can't do anything. Everything goes wrong. But, you know, that's why we wear our big boy pants, play all Madden, right? Stuff like that can't happen, and the Bucks are a good team. They're a really, really good team. And at least we kind of close with the year. Detroit, winnable. Atlanta, when I, we're hyping up this whole time that we're kind of looking at this last stretch. We're losing to the Bucks. It's just, it happens. But 17 18, I mean, I can see 10 wins. I can see nine wins, and definitely nine wins will get us into the playoffs. Now, the only question is do we do another doubleheader, or do we kind of stretch it a little bit to try to get closer to that new franchise patch? That remains another question for, I, I don't know, man. Let me know what you guys think. Would you say screw it and try to risk it? Get to the offseason before the patch. Do we try to not delay it, not stop this series, but slow it down so that we can hopefully have it line up to like, all right, we're in the offseason. It's about to be the draft time. And luckily the new patch just went live on Thursday or some shit like that. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But that's how we're going to close this one out. The good, the bad, and ugly of Nick Foles. I think uh, we're hyping up Nick Foles for having more touchdowns and picks. That is now gone. But let's just look at the good. Let's just, let's just look at the good. Brian Burns, 19 and a half sacks. 11 picks, CJ Henderson, 9 picks, Jace. That's that's the good. Let's just keep focusing on that. That's all we need to focus on. That'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you guys for watching. As always, first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you back here on the next one. Tomorrow, we'll have a quick pink slips up for you guys before Sunday's game start. And, of course, we'll have on more C4, my second channel, a grades live reaction to the Eagles-Steelers matchup. See you guys then. Peace out. Love you. Have a good one.